Hi, this is Tom Hatfield from Razor Sharp Sports, premier handicapper at oddscapper.com. The big dance is here, and this field is absolutely wide open. I take a look at the brackets, and I can legitimately see about 14 teams that could win it all. And that's not counting teams like Butler from last year, who shocked everyone and came one shot away from cutting down the nets. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at the first weekend's action. The popular thing to do is always to come up with the upset. Which 12 seed will knock off the 5 seed? Well, this year the tournament's a little different. We have a field of 6 with four playing games on Tuesday and Wednesday, and two of those playing games include at-large big conference teams, UAB against Clemson and Southern Cal taking on Virginia Commonwealth. I believe that the winners in these games have real advantages heading into the actual tournament for two reasons. First of all, the nerves are going to be gone. They already have a game underneath their belt. And number two, the teams that they're playing, West Virginia and Georgetown, aren't playing their best right now. West Virginia is 4-4 four and four in their last eight, and Georgetown has dropped five of their last six. Other, te- other, other upsets out there right now, I believe, could be UConn versus Bucknell, Vanderbilt versus Richmond, Kansas State versus Utah State, and Wisconsin versus Belmont. So I also want to give you my opinion real quick here on who got screwed out of the tournament. I say absolutely nobody. If you think you're team number 35 through 40 and you think you should get in and you don't, you just shut up. If you get in, you celebrate. But if you're the 35th or 40th best team overall, do you really deserve it? And Do you think you should play for a national championship? I don't think so. Practice a little bit harder and get there next year. Now, I want to jump ahead to a free pick for you here. And I know the matchup isn't set yet for Sunday, but if it is, I believe it's going to be a great play. This Sunday looks like North Carolina will take on Washington, and both these teams will go up and down the court. I don't care what the total is on this ball game; They will score at least 165 to 170 points. So I say if North Carolina takes on Washington, Washington this Sunday, take the over. Make sure you check back for more free action. Good luck.